musical is written, Kathy's story actually begins from the end of the relationship going to the beginning. I'd say, hey, hey, she's a goddess. I've been waiting for someone like you. It's about the ups, the downs, the ins, the outs. It's, it's about each person's perspective. There's two sides to every story. You and you and nothing but you. is called The Last Five Years. It's by Jason Robert Brown and it's about uh, a five-year relationship between a hotshot young writer and an aspiring actress that meet and fall in love and get married and then have some issues in their marriage. Did I just hear an alarm start a ringing? Did I see sirens go flying past? Though I don't know what tomorrow is bringing, I got a singular impression things are moving too fast. It's just a, an ingenious, lovely, lovely musical that, considering how small the cast is and how um, intimate it has been, you know, it's really a chamber musical, um, it's developed a, almost a cult following across the America, and uh, lots of people just love it. <laughs> Kathy goes through a plethora of emotions. We see her experience grief, loss, elation, happiness, insecurities, doubt, everything you could experience, um, especially when it comes to being in a relationship. <laughs> So as the play goes along, we kind of converge in the middle where we get married and there's actually a duet that both characters sing together. Uh, and then we continue along our paths and uh, I end up at the end of the relationship, she ends up at the beginning of the relationship and we continue our back and forth tele storytelling. It's a beautiful um, and tragic love story. Nobody dies, but it's tragic. It's also a story that I think everyone can relate to, even if they've never been in a relationship, never been married. All of the emotions and the struggles that, that Jamie and Kathy go through are definitely uh, relevant to everyone. It's just the human experience. When you come Aside from just being two primary characters, it stands as, as a typical modern American musical. Our staging, of course, is unique and special in that we've sort of flushed out some additional um, things uh, in the storyline. Um, I, when I first experienced the show, I was sort of struck by the fact that, you know, we don't get a chance to see Jamie and Kathy together ever until halfway through the show um, in, a, in a typical staging, and I thought, well, how are we going to make the audience really root for them as a couple when we never see them together, either in the same timeline or at the same time, until the show is half over? And so I thought, well, let's play with it a little bit and see where we can throw Kathy into Jamie's scenes and actually be there as a physical presence and vice versa. Why is that man staring at my resume? Don't stare at my resume. I made up half my resume. Look at me, stop me, that look at me. She slowed down and turned to face him, a quizzical smile crossing her lips. He smiled back at her. You 
don't have to let me win, she was screaming. Now, there are so many reasons why someone should come see this show. Firstly, Jason Robert Brown is a fantastic composer, and we have the incredibly talented Aaron Lamb on piano, and it's gorgeous, gorgeous music. If I didn't believe in you, we wouldn't be having this fight. If I didn't believe in you, I'd walk out the door and say, Kathy, you're right. The music is so wonderful, you know, even if you don't get it, I think you're still entertained by these two characters singing about the issues of being in love and falling out of love and, um, and the whole encompassing feeling of just relationships in general.